Catherine, shake down. Take a big inhale. Exhale, shake it all out. Shake out your arms, your wrists, your fingers, your legs, your ankles, your knees, your toes, and then back in the horse. Please do tell your neighbor what a great job they just did. So much excitement. I love it. <laughs> so go ahead, please come back to your seat for me real quick. Very good. Well, so these 15 opening movements, what we just did is going to increase the range of motion, increase the flexibility in every single joint in the body, starting with the shoulders. Coming down, opening up the whole shoulder blades. Coming down, opening up the whole spinal cord. Opening up the hips. Open up the hips even more with Genie on the horse. We rushed all that blood flow down to our knees, ankle support with the spinning top, and then we open up everything with waterfall part one and waterfall part two. Now, the greatest thing about everything that we just did, it can be done in, a, in your house. All you need is a space this big around. You don't need no fancy equipment, fancy gym. And this is actually what I start off with people that have never worked out a day in their life or individuals that have just come in and are very beginner level. It's interesting to, to see um, a lot of different clients that come in. I either have clients that come in for either looks, um, they want to get healthier, and st statistically proven that 37% of the people that focusing on healthy living and not just looks are actually more successful down the road with a fitness program and a program. And as just as Dr. Firemilk was talking about with, with her client, I assume that her client with the, the past Olympian swimmer is very successful. She, she worries about her health. And that's, and that's what's so great about all of our speakers here today is because we're, we're concerned for not only our health, but the public's health, the church's health, and everyone and everyone else in our community. And we're here to help you. So please do reach out to us um, as we've reached out to you, um, offering this amazing thing. And, and I just want to congratulate Paul. Just what, just what an amazing man just to set up this whole event, just setting up everything, getting us all together. And Paul, thank you so much for having me. And um, yeah, definitely. Paul, Paul's, Paul's been a huge blessing to me. Paul actually did, uh, did one of the cardiovascular tests on me, and, and I actually found out that I got some stuff going inside of me. And even though that I eat fruits and vegetables all day and, and lean meats and I got my nutrition down, you know, I still I, I have, to, have to work on um, some inside of me. And, and, it, and it's, it was very shocking. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get all green lights like, oh, you're healthy, you're good. And I was actually really surprised. I had some yellows in there. I have a dysfunction, and um, it's, it's very eye-opening that even though that I may look healthy or, you know, I think the inside is very, that most that counts. Um, and so I kind of I want to just briefly talk about um, health and fitness with you. But before we start, um, I'm, I'm very into everyone living in the moment and everyone living in right now, not the past or the future. So if you could for me, just kind of lean uh, a little bit to the edge of your seat. I want your chest up, shoulders back. This is just a brief exercise just to kind of live in the now. I'd like you to close your eyes, deep breaths in and out through your nose. I want you to focus on your breath. That's it, just your breath. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. You're relaxed, you're comfortable, being grateful, being thankful for this day that we're alive, that the most important thing that we have is right now. And if we don't have our health, we have nothing. And just take this time to just give thanks, gratitude, knowing that right now is a gift and it shouldn't be taken for granted. Continue to focus on that breath, deep breaths. See if you can get a little bit deeper. Deep breaths. Just focusing on that breath. Focusing on your inner spirit. knowing that you are blessed. Deep 
Deep breaths, deep breaths. Don't lose that breath. And relax. And open up your eyes. This practice, this exercise I, I've learned very recent, and it makes me realize that any time that I'm either stressed out or worried, worried about my future or thinking too much about my past, I'll, I, I realize that right now is, is what I have, and right now is an amazing gift. And again, we shouldn't take it for granted. And concerning health and concerning fitness, it's interesting that we all come up with either excuses or, or reasons, and, and obviously there, there's, there could be health reasons that, that come involved between that. But I think the most important thing is, is how you react and, and what you do right now. It, it, it's not about tomorrow because no one knows what tomorrow brings, and right now is, is what we have, and right now is that gift. And, and, we're, and we're here at this time for a reason, for sure. There's no doubt that there's purpose and destiny in our lives right now. Not later, but right now. And so I want to talk a little bit again. Um, I, 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 did, I did a little bit brief presentation of, of, of why, why be fit, how to be fit. It's, I, I, it, took me, it took me a lot of uh, contemplation to decide because I have, I have so much information, so many things I, I wanted to talk about. Um, but a little bit about me. Um, I'm a certified personal trainer. Um, nutrition as well. I'm also a Lululemon CrossFit coach um, over at the Biltmore downtown Phoenix area. White Tiger Yoga instructor, what we just did, those 15 opening movements. Um, I've worked with professional athletes, um, Cincinnati Reds baseball team to name one. Um, I've worked over at Athletes Performance, which is a professional facility world class where they bring in professional athletes from all over the world, Olympians, etc. I've also have a history in a living, uh, assisted living home. And it, as well as the doctor said that you should, if you've never been to one of those, you should definitely go to one. Because um, my oldest client there was 98 years old. And to see a, a 98 years old in a wheelchair, still living life and still working out, it was very inspiring to me. My now oldest client is 101 years old. Um, that he actually did that, this same program that we just did right now. Um, so it, it was, it, it's, excuse me? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, God's been rocking my, rocking my world and, and, and showing me that, that, man, there really isn't, there really is no limits, um, but also having wisdom and, and knowledge and understanding to successfully attain with what you want to do. So uh, my life, I, I, love, I love hiking, I love outdoors, salsa dancing. Any, any salsa dancers in here? Yeah. Hey, we can salsa dance when you come to boot camp. <laughs> so um, salsa dancing is a, is, is a new thing, a new hobby that I picked up. I've been taking lessons once a week and um, showing my salsa moves. But health, fitness, and nutrition is, is definitely um, my mountain and, and my thing that, that, that I've been driven and, and been called to to establish and to, and to lead people in. Um, again, Paul talked a little bit. Um, I'm over at Independence Gym in South Scottsdale. Um, I'm a fitness director for Impact Bootcamp in Scottsdale, and then also I run my personal training business as well there. I want to talk to whys about whys of fitness. Why work out? Why exercise? Um, and, and, and hopefully this brings purpose um, into your life, because I believe that everything has purpose. Everything has, everything, there, there must be, there must be some, t some sort of, of purpose to your actions, uh, consciously or unconsciously. And I kind of want to bring that, that conscious awareness to you, um, just like as we just did this breathing technique. It was that conscious awareness that we can be relaxed. We can live in this moment right now. And it's such a powerful thing. It's such a powerful tool that I believe that many of us, have really missed out on harnessing that power because, again, we're focusing on our kids. You know, it's just so, so many different things, but where the most important thing is our gifts right now, like what we have in our hands right now, what, we, what, we've, been, what we've been called to do. You know, I, I believe our bodies are machines, and, and uh, 
again, they shouldn't be taken for granted. So number one, exercise controls weight. Um, exercise can help prevent excess weight gains or help maintain weight loss. Also engaging in phys physical activity, it helps you burn calories. So the more intense the activity, the more calories you burn. And you can actually go too fast. And what we've came up with is what we call the talk test. If you're, going, if you're working out and you cannot carry on a conversation, you need to slow down. Because you're actually, you can be doing your body more harm than you are doing good. And actually, Paul, again, with, with, the, with the cardiovascular test, he made me realize, Angie, you got to slow down your workouts. And at that time, it was like, Paul, I'm, I'm saying, Paul, that's like telling me to sleep less or to eat less. And, and to really realize that, he, he asked me again, he goes, health over fitness or fitness over health. So again, it, it comes back to how Dr. Fryer Milk and, and myself are, are talking about health, the insides, the inside of us. If you can't do an actual workout, get more active throughout the day in simple ways. So obviously taking the stairs instead of the elevator is one thing. Is anybody working in any offices, any corporate? Yes, a couple people? So what, taking the stairs in the elevator is, is a huge thing. Um, Really just, again, being, that, being conscious and aware of what decisions can you make at this very moment right now. Exercise combat, combats health conditions and disease. So we've been talking about cardiovascular health for this last past hour um, from Dr. Fryer Milk and hoping to prevent high blood pressure, no matter what your current weight is, being active boots, high density um, lipoprotein, so it, your HDO, so quote, your, your, good, your good cholesterol and decreases unhealthy triglycerides. So if you have type 2 diabetes, if you're depressed, if you have you know, some certain types of cancer, arthritis, et cetera, exercise can help you prevent that. It can help you prevent that. And I've heard and seen a lot of stories, people being healed of diabetes from exercising, eating healthy. Um, their energy levels, their, their depression is gone, they're more happy, they live a fulfilled life. And again, it, and it comes back to, do you want to live a healthy life? Um, or you know, do, you, do you want to think about like a, a high quality of life, or do you, are you concerned about your looks, et cetera? Again, 37% of people are more successful when they join a fitness program when they're worried about their life, when they're, their, their quality of life, they're more successful. Exercise improves mood. So need an emotional lift? <laughs> or need to blow off some steam after a stressful day? A workout at the gym, 30-minute walk can, can, help, can help with that. And again, that breathing technique. Please, please take these tools that I'm giving you just right now and, 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 and really apply them into your life. You may also feel better about your appearance, um, yourself, when, when you exercise regularly and which can boost your confidence and improve your self-esteem. Um, I actually have a, uh, a, YouTube, a YouTube video that I would like to share to you. So, Bobby, if you don't mind, I'd like you to share that first one. This first video that I'm going to show you is, uh, is a client that I've been training for for about six months now. He's an actor, model, uh, producer, and he's going to be kind of talking with you and sharing with you his kind of testimony and his, his story about him exercising. Um, and it, and it kind of really talks about that confidence um, and, improving, and improving his self-esteem and, and how successful he has been um, with our exercise program. So please enjoy. Let's see here. Oh, Bobby, do you mind if we get the sound on real quick, please? <laughs> 